of science and Jesus. Because they're both cool, and yes, I'm going to be a mad scientist today, and I'm going to be motivated and determined to help you hopefully learn something about science and about Jesus at the same time, because both are cool. Oh, no. Yes? Can I take the Coke bottle, and can we spray it to somebody when we put the Mentos in it? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> can I put the Mentos in it and spray it at myself? I know you No, because we're not using Mentos today. So, yes. But anyways, why don't we just get to some experiments? What we got here, we got three, li three liquids. This one's water, I just put some food coloring in it so you can see it. We got some vinegar and we got some Coca-Cola. So what we're going to do, we're going to do an exothermic reaction because we've got some baking soda again, which is NaHCO3. So, and it's going to, it's supposed to, uh, do stuff. Is that vinegar? Uh, no, that is water. So, we look and we stir and we say, what happened? It's the color of vinegar. It's kind of somewhat underwhelming. However, it's an exothermic reaction. Oh, do you mind coming up here for a minute? Oh, can I please? Okay, no, right. please. yes, or I'll just come down to you. Does it feel like it got any warmer? Does it feel warm? Yeah. But it did. It got just a, a tad bit warmer just because it ugh, releases energy in that. But, you know, a small reaction may not be very noticeable. Then we got some vinegar here. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's going to go big boom. <laughs> yeah, so you think it's going to go big? Is that what you said? Big boom. Yes. Big -er. Okay, yes, because we are going to form a couple of different chemicals in here that are going to decompose and they're going to form some H, uh, some H carbon dioxide. Oh. So let's if I can get some. Oh, yeah, let's see what happens. Ooh, I mean, that's Ooh look. How fun. Can oh. I eat it? No. No. It looks kind of like something it. neat. Yummy. We're just kind of fizzling over. How fun. Yummy. That looks kind of neat. So, Okay, so we got that kind of bubbling away here. We'll just sit it over here. So you probably can't see it. Then we've got our infamous Coca-Cola, which has yes. phosphoric acid in it. And when it combines with the I baking soda. It. it doesn't go big boom. It goes fizzle sizzle. <laughs> well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give up one of its hydrogen ions and uh, cause, um, again, for to get some, uh, see, some carbon dioxide in there. So let's see what happens when we dump this in here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's, is it? What's it doing? I just realized the coke it looks is vinegar. Like it, it looks like. Yeah. So you're telling yeah, it looks like a like a root beer float. I was thinking that too. Root beer float. float. Yeah. And I was trying to see if I could drink it, and I was like, yeah, no, probably oh, not. Right. It might not be very good. But that's kind of cool. It looks like a root beer float, so that's yeah. neat. So that's always fun. Wait, I like how it one. The, the top is white. Can, and the can you make something that'll go boom boom? We cannot. Not today, at least. I have a question. Can you make... Oh, yes? Does that mean that uh, Coca-Cola is just vinegar in disguise? No. I don't think so. No, because it's got some other chemicals in it. But it oh. does react similar to it. I mean, I they do... Vinegar in disguise. No. Does it have? How many hydrocarbons? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. The vinegar turns into fizzy water. I have no water. idea what this It does fizzy water. Yes. But then... What I've got here, we've got a second experiment, which we're going to try and do some froze, um, some instant ice. And what we need, what temperature does water freeze at? 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. Yay, got it correct. Yeah, so what we got here is some bottles of water that are in ice and some rock salt. And rock salt is going to lower the temperature of the water, so that way it will not freeze. So this is actually, I don't know what it said. I it. it looks like it says it's about 20, 20 degrees Celsius. All right, Fahrenheit. So what we're gonna try and do. Yeah, not sure. This has to be at the precise temperature, which is usually minus 17. I'm not really sure we're there yet, but we're hoping that it will work. So this should, if I tap it, it should freeze the whole water bottle. Which I'm not sure it doesn't. Well, Does that mean you're magic? Are you magic? I am not magic. No, I said science. Does that work? Okay. Like I said, sometimes it's got to be at the precise temperature. So let's see. We've got a couple other bottles in here. 
See if we can do something. Let's see if we can try and make a frozen ice sculpture. Yes. Type A. Yes. Do you sculpt it into a face? Make it a turkey. Put an ice cube on there, Dory. Oh, an ice cube? Uh, ice cube. Magicify and ice cube. Daddy! Okay. Put it in your okay. water here. So, we've got an ice cube, and we've got some super cool water, we hope. Let's see. Oh. Super duper. Oh, it's working. Yeah. Whoa! I've seen that before. Yeah. 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 Yeah
But instead of helping the man, the Levite passed by on the other side of the road too. Then a man from Samaria came down the road. Samaritans and Jews did not get along. But when he saw the man lying there, he helped him. The Samaritan bandaged the man's wounds. He put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn where he could rest. The Samaritan took care of the man. Then he paid the innkeeper to care for the man. Jesus asked, which of these people was a real neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? The lawyer replied, the one who helped the man. Jesus said, go and do the same. Jesus died on the cross for our sin and rose again so we can have eternal life. God calls us to show his love for the world by helping people in need. Okay, so this parable, we have four people. We've got two religious leaders, a priest and a Levite. I think they're kind of like the big know-it-alls because they're supposed to know all about God and Jesus. And Well, maybe not Jesus. They're supposed to know about God and God's kingdom. So anybody out there think they, they don't have to be a know-it-all, but at least look like they know it all? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Yeah, you two want to come on up? Okay. Oh, can I nope. come up? No. These two said yes. So I'll let you guys stay in here. And then yes, there was two other people. There was um, the guy that got beat up, and then there was the Good Samaritan. Does anyone feel particularly beat up today? Yes. Okay, okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Can I? No. <laughs> and bring one person with you. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> you two are now the religious leaders, so that means. You know, oh yeah, come on up on the stage. That, I get to get beat up? No, no he does. Aww. Okay. I wanted to get beat up. So you two know all about God and God's kingdom. Okay. And you two, uh, you are a good Samaritan, and you, my friend, are having a really bad day, I see. I hate it when that happens. We can talk later. But anyways, okay, so, that, just gotta get warmed up, because, uh, ready? I don't get to get beat up. No, he gets beat up. We get to beat him up. Kitty. Okay, boink. Okay, so now we have beat you up, so you can either sit on the stage or you can lie down or you can do that too. Okay. And all of us, the rest of us are over here. So I need to make it uh, make him not die. We're not there yet. Okay, you my friend, you are the priest. So you come bebopping along on the road. Oh, oh you can see up on the stage. Okay, and then you stop. Wait, <gasps> gasp, <gasps> look at that. What did you do in this story? I'm a person. Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, you kind of looked and you went, oh, that looks bad. And then you said, I gotta get to the temple. Gotta do God's work, don't you know? Mm -hmm. so we walk on the other side of the road, and we come up and we stand over here. So I'll let you stand up here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so then you, my friend, you are, come back here, you are a priest. Yeah, or well, you're the Levite. So, you also work in the temple, so you know God's law. So, you go be bopping along, and then you stop. <gasps> you gasp. <gasps> and you say, well, what do you do? I have to go to the temple by having my day. Exactly. Gotta go, gotta be late for lunch at the temple. They're having lunch today. So, okay. you go be bopping along, and you hang out over there. And then we have the Good Samaritan here. Now, I think he's short. <laughs> he is very short. You can be tall. Although, wait, come back here. I'm, you know, you're not walking yet. Okay. Short man. <laughs> We've got a good short Samaritan here. Now, the Samaritans and the Jews did not get along. The Jews thought the Samaritans were not as good as they were. And remember, Jesus is telling the story to the Jews, to Jewish leaders. Well, where's the actor for Jesus? What was the what for Jesus? Well, you said that Jesus was telling a story. Don't we need the actor for Jesus? No, because we are in the parable right now. Oh! So we are what Jesus is saying. Can't you see the bubble around us and Jesus? Anyways, oh, yes, okay. Imagination, my friend, imagination, science! Okay, so, Mr. Samaritan, you go be bopping along on the road. You can actually walk.
o'clock if you so choose. Oh. Okay, and then you stop and you gasp. <gasps> Okay, so you grab one arm and I'll grab the other, and then we, you help them up. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so hang on. So you get them up and you just kind of brush them off and go, "You're good, right?" We're on our way. We don't have them. You can use a, a branch or something. You go. Leave it. Leave it. Don't. Okay. So you just. This way. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, not yet. <laughs> We're not fixing him up yet. So, you brush him off and then you leave, right? I take him to an inn to go oh. to a hotel. Wait a minute. So, you uh, pick him up and you take him to a hotel. An inn. Oh, so it means, am I the donkey? Jeez, really? Yes. Okay, get on. Here, stand in front of me. Stand over here. Here, stand here. No thanks. You know, get up here. Just gonna stand. You're gonna stand there. Yeah, you're gonna stand there. You're gonna you're not. Oh. <laughs> okay. You make sure it doesn't fall. You're hurt. So you're I'm leaving. Come on. We're going to the inn. Are you? You're not coming with me. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, if I don't get to the inn, I'll just fuck you off. Good. Thank you. Okay. So we finally got him to the inn. So then we just, you just, I bucked him off the. We don't have an innkeeper. It's just us. So you just. I need innkeeper. Wait. Wait. You're gonna pay also. You can, although we don't have a sack of money right now. But okay, so we get to the inn, and you're paying for the inn. Okay. Thank you. And then we just drop them off and you just leave, right? So that I pay the guy? Yes, you paid him. Do you do anything else? Um, Does he look still kind of hurt and ouchy? Yes. yes. Oh, I then. say, I honestly. And I guess we <laughs> <laughs> Tell the invisible man to help him. Okay, so I guess you need to here, turn him this way. I guess you need to wrap wrap his arm and bandages and. He's turning into a mummy now. Okay, well not too much of a mummy, just a small yeah. mummy. Uh, uh, again. Yeah, give 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 okay. him breaks. Okay. Yeah, okay. Walking around like. No, excuse me. Okay, so you found this guy, and instead of just walking by, you picked him up, you put him on your donkey, you brought him to an inn, you paid for the inn, and now you're wrapping him as a mummy to cleanse his wounds. Cutting off his circulation. <laughs> okay, so now what happens? There's the unfinished band aid. Okay, so he's all bandaged up. That's cool, and you paid for him, and you're. Okay, we're good. Stop. Okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. You broke your arms. Okay. Okay. Hang on. You two stay there. You two stay here. Now you have bandaged him up. So you did all this huge stuff. I mean, these two, they just walked right by. You're me. Yeah, they're supposed to know God's law. We'll get to them. Well, don't worry, I'll throw them on the bus. That's bullism. Like uh, you leave it on the table. You put it on the table. Can I drink the vinegar that you did? No, before? stop. You do. Oh, get over here. Come Stay here. Come here, person who broke okay. the Okay. 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 So you. Okay. Hang on. So you did this huge, amazing thing. You you picked up this guy. You didn't just walk by him. You actually helped him. You brought him to the inn. That's fine. You you picked him up, you brought him to an inn, you paid for the inn, and you gave him medical treatment, medical yes. attention. I made his arms broken. Well, that's cool. Well, I mean, it's not cool that it's broken, but yeah. he's at least being fixed up. So that's neat. That's like more than what any normal person would do. That's like God's love that you showed there. That's very cool. So I'll let you, you did such a great job uh, fixing him up that he's now well, so I'll let you... Take his bandages off, and we're going to talk to you two over here. Okay, you two. You're going to play Minecraft. So, you two, my friend. You can take your bandages off. I don't want to. Okay, you can keep them on then. You can't. You can take a seat then. You go. You can't. You go. Okay, so you two. 
Yeah. You are the religion. Yeah, that's fine. Am I the religion? No, sit down. In your chair. Oh! <laughs> so you two are the religious leaders. So you know about God and God's kingdom and God's love. And yet, you guys just walked right by the guy that was injured. Why? Do you have any idea why you do that? Because Yeah, maybe he was dead. Maybe it was too late. Do you have an idea? Because there was, did you think there was a better way for something? Oh, we were too late. Yeah, it could be. And also could be, you know, they were like, oh, I got to go to the temple. I got to go have lunch. You know, I got better things to do. Better things to do. They just didn't want to help. And that sounds like sin. You know, even religious leaders have sinned. Thank you. I'll let you guys take a seat. I got no, to be on YouTube. Yay. Thank you. I never got Oh, wait, I said hi twice. You know, even. I want to break what? my What? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> now, even the religious leaders, they have sinned because everybody, the, the, the Bible says everybody sins, and they were everybody, so they sinned also. And that's, you know, Not Jesus. A good thing. Yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so that's what I think was going but, on there, that they... But they committed they just a sin. Didn't, yes, they committed a sin. And they just couldn't be bothered. And yet the Samaritan, he bothered. He said, okay, I'm going to go do stuff. I'm going to go help this person. So when Jesus, when the leader, when that um, lawyer had said, hey, Jesus, uh, who is my neighbor anyways? You know, Jesus could have said, your neighbor is everybody. It's the whole world. It's people that are Samaritans. It's people that are not Samaritans. No, it's everybody, so the whole world is our neighbor. But instead, he told that parable to make the, that uh, lawyer and everybody else who hears the story think, okay, well, I guess, you know, if everybody is my neighbor, so that means it's the whole world. But he also wanted to show, make them think what a true neighbor really is. It's not someone who's just going to walk by and go, oh, that looks bad. I wouldn't want to be you. Okay, I've got to go. You know, maybe if I just start, start look, I won't, you know. They, they want you to do something. He wants us to love people the way he loves us. Because he's Jesus. So anyways, in our experiments here, we had our three, um, Drug jokes. yeah, three things of liquid that we add some Drug baking soda to. They each had a different reaction. You know, kind of a big, medium, and small. And just like people, they're going to have different reactions to whatever they see. We may assume that people are going to react a certain way depending on who they are, or maybe depending on what they do for a profession. How like about if you see food? someone on the side of the road, you might think, okay, well, a medical person, if they see him, they're going to run up and help because they know what to do. So it's that kind of thing. People, all people react differently. Me, if I see someone on the side of the road, I'll be like, I can photograph those injuries. Can't help you. But anyways, that's just me. So, that's not nice. I know, <laughs> but that's just the way it is. <laughs> Stop my then we have our our instant ice here. Can I make and, um, it's not really instant ice anymore. It's, really it's kind of instant water. slush now. Yeah. What if I drink but anyways, put a piece for of instant ice, ice when you take the water bottles out of the um, out of the super cold water, just one little tap is, it can freeze it if it's at the right temperature. It's going to freeze the whole bottle. Just one little ripple is going to change the whole water bottle. And that's what can happen also when we love somebody or we show people kindness. One little act of kindness can show this, have this ripple effect and it can change people's lives. You may think that, oh, you know, I didn't do anything extraordinary. I just asked someone to you know, play a game, or I just sat with them on the bus, or sat with them at lunch, or whatever. But you never know, if the person's having a really bad day, and you do something nice for them, that can change that whole person's day, and then they can go and change someone else's day also. So it can have this ripple effect that's just way cool. So with our story, we had four people. We had the Good Samaritan, who's basically God, Jesus. Then we had the two religious leaders, and we had the guy that got beat up. So who are we more like? God, God. God. Jesus. God, God. Who thinks 
The guy that got beat up, we're more like the guy that got beat up. Some of you who thinks we're more like the religious leaders. Have you? Okay. Unless I play Minecraft, then if I'm Minecraft. Play Minecraft then okay, there's no Minecraft back in Jesus' day. Or more but anyways, I think it's kind of both. I think we are a whole lot like the religious leaders because they all sinned. You know, they saw the guy. They knew God loves people, and He wants people to show compassion. And yet they were just like, "Oh, yeah, I'm busy." I'm busy and they just walked by. Sounds like religious leaders and lots of sin in their lives, kind of like us. We need a big dose of Jesus, and so do they. But the guy that got beat up, you know, he was just lying dead on the ground. He, we're like him also because he needed a savior. He needed someone to rescue him. Just like us, we need Jesus to save us, to rescue us. We need a big dose of Jesus also. And that's why God sent Jesus. So we can believe in him and he'll rescue us from our sins. And for a eternity life. Exactly. Live with him forever in heaven. So God wants us to show love to people, just like he loves us. So let's go over our big, uh, not big picture, mm -hmm. I sure love key passage. I not beating them up. Okay, key passage from Mark 6.34. Let's say it all one time. Ready? On three. One, two, three. When, when Jesus, Jesus saw a large crowd, he, he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them. And he Mark 6.34.